You know, I've been here at the ANU for some 20 years, and really it's been some of the best time of my life. And the ANU is at a juncture in its life where it can get better or it can get worse. And I think that uh, I really want to make sure that the ANU becomes one of the absolute greatest universities. I have a, a vision to make that happen. And I really want to give back to the university that has given so much to me. In 1946, uh, the nation had a vision for the ANU, which was to bring world-class research to the nation. And of course, in 2015, we find that ANU has indeed done that. But we have the opportunity going forward to make the research even better, even more world-class. But of course, research is not the only thing we do. Uh, we have a world-class education program here, where we have undergraduates uh, and postgraduates and higher degree students. What I want to see us is being seen like, for example, an Ivy League school or an Oxbridge school as being the best place in the world to get your education. We're almost there. We're going to get all the way there in the next few years. Finally, we have external engagement. Uh, the university creates all this knowledge and we want to share it. We want to share it with businesses, we want to share it via policy, with the government, and we want to share with our alumni and have the alumni be able to see what we're doing and then for us to see what our alumni are doing. So that way both our students and our researchers can really get that whole world appreciation of how we are contributing. So I'll be commencing as Vice Chancellor in the beginning of 2016 and the early part of the new year. Ian and I have had a, for a long time, a good close working relationship. And during this time, I'm gonna take the opportunity uh, to learn a lot from him. Uh, and during that time, you can expect Ian to have my full uh, and unwavering support. These are very exciting times for the ANU and I'm really certain that the students, the staff, the alumni, the Canberra community are going to share the absolute delight that we on the University Council have in Brian Schmidt accepting our offer to become the next Vice-Chancellor. We had a really outstanding field of international and Australian candidates from which to choose from this position. We could have chosen an absolutely first-class university manager. We had plenty of those in the field. But what we've chosen is a first-class leader. Brian's vision, vitality, global stature, communication skills, we're going to take ANU to places it's never been before.